So when looking at this problem, ladies and gentlemen, they say simplify. And usually when we want to simplify, we don't want to be dealing with uh, a rational expression. right? We want to somehow get rid of the rational expression. Now, there's a couple different ways we can look at this. Um, usually when multiply, to get rid of a rational expression, when we have a binomial term, we can multiply by the conjugate on the top and bottom. And that's something you could you know, look into and try, maybe see if that might help you uh, simplify it. Now, one thing automatically looking at this, I see, ooh, this is 1 minus sine of y. It's very similar to the 1 minus sine squared of y, which we looked at um, with the cosine squared. So remember, when I see cosine squared, a lot of times when I'm doing these problems, I automatically just write out what the Pythagorean identity is. So I know that sine squared of y plus cosine squared of y equals 1. All right, so I got that in there for both of them. Now I say, if I wanted to look at this, Remember, it has to be sine squared for this to equal cosine squared. This is, this is just 1 minus sine of y. It's not 1 minus sine squared of y. So therefore, this doesn't equal cosine or cosine squared. That only works for um, your Pythagorean identities when they're squared. So let me go and see, how can I maybe transform what cosine squared equals? Well, again, remember, we can solve for cosine squared by subtracting the sine squared on both sides. So I have cosine squared of y equals 1 minus sine squared of y. Um, so now I rewrite this as 1 minus sine squared of y divided by 1 minus sine of y. Huh? Well, um, we got to think about what actually is 1 minus or 1 minus sine squared of y. All right, we can't just cancel these out because this is a binomial term. Remember, this term is divided under the 1, and this term is divided under the sine squared of y. So we just can't say, oh, it cancels out and just equals um, you know, 1 sine or 1, 1 minus sine. Let's see how maybe we can rewrite this maybe in a little bit different term. Let's go back, if you guys remember this form, a squared minus b squared. You guys remember this? And this is a plus b times a minus b, right? That was a difference of two squares, OK? Is this a difference of two squares? Is my first term a square number? And is my second term a square number? Well, this would be sine times sine, and this would be 1 times 1, because you could actually rewrite that as 1 squared, right? So the top term can actually be rewritten as this, 1 minus sine of y times 1 plus sine of y all over 1 minus sine of y. And the reason why I'd write it like that is because now this singular term, since these are multiplied by, I can now divide these out and because now I'm using multiplication. When you had addition, you couldn't just simply cross them out. But now you have multiplication. And now you can divide these out to 1. And your final answer is 1 plus sine of y. Okay. So it's just kind of an understanding of thinking of like, how can I rewrite this to help us out? Um,